Hey guys, I'm coming at you today with a Lash Haul. And this haul was actually kind of unexpected because it was actually a gift to me from my mother. So, shout out to my mother. Um, so there's the bag. And yeah, she surprised me with this because um, there's a Lush store conveniently located near where I take dance classes. And um, yeah, um, while I was dancing, she was apparently shopping for Lush for me, which is so sweet, right? Um, if you leave her a nice comment, I'll make sure she gets it. Or I'll show her whatever. I don't know. Okay. So first, there's a little poster in here. And it says, Wham. And it has a bath bomb on the bottom. It says, Fizz Banger, The New Art of Bathing, 2010. Alright. So yeah, I actually got my first Lush bath bombs. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. I actually... Yeah, I'll start with them. Okay. So, they came in a tube like this, and I say this because I didn't even know this, because it was just a gift, you know what I'm saying? It's in a tube like this, it has the same thing, it says New Art of Bathing, Fizz Banger. And what this tube is, are they, I guess they always have these at Lush, and you can just fill them with as many bath bombs as you want. And if you've ever been to Lush, you know that they have, like, tons of bath bombs, all with crazy cool colors and effects. So yeah, I've seen the top one in here because it's easy to get out. The other two, I promise you, I have not seen what these look like. So we're kind of discovering these together, you know what I'm saying? So this is kind of fun. Um, all right. I took notes, though. I went online and found out what these are called and stuff. So yeah, okay. I'm going to be careful with these because, I don't know, I just don't want them to die. Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh, snap. Okay, so, the first one looks like this. Oh, see, it's like powdering all over the place. So it has like stars and little moons and stuff on the top. And on the side, there's like blue peeking through. This one is apparently called Twilight. And it smells good. It's supposed to smell like lavender. I think this is lavender. And when it releases, it's supposed to look... The picture online showed like swirling pink and blue. So, you know, it's pink and blue. It makes sense. And it's supposed to have like glitter or something inside. So yeah, I'll after I use all these up, I'll let you know what I what I think. So yeah, that smells really good. So I guess if you're a fan of lavender, maybe that'll be for you. Okay, I have not taken this one out. And I don't want this to just Ooh, snap. This is fun. This is fun trying to get this out. Okay, oh. Okay, it's kind of like sliding. Hi. Okay. Wow, this is making a mess. Come on, come on. Oh. I'm so glad I got like a napkin. Oh my gosh, it's like crumbling. Okay. Okay, oh, okay, we're just gonna be aggressive this time. Oh my gosh, this made like such a mess in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm traumatized, okay. Oh, snap, this could have made a big mess on my couch, but fortunately, I put down... Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is so much fun for you, isn't it? Okay. This is so fragile. Oh, my gosh. This is called Dragon's Egg. And it's... As you can see, it's kind of like... If you touch it, it kind of breaks apart. And this one... Mm, it smells like lemons. It says on the website, Sherbert scent of lemon and bergamot. And apparently, this one turns the tub, the bathtub, like, fiery red, like an orangish color. Oh, gosh. Please don't die. Okay. I may use that one first, just because I'm so afraid of it, like, dying on me. Mm, it smells good, though. Yeah, I'm, like, making it. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what this is. It's, like, a little pink petal thing. It was inside of it. I don't know. Okay, this is stressful. <laughs> okay, so there's one more in here. Hopefully this one isn't super fragile. Please don't be fragile. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm like coaxing these things out of this tube. They're just, oh gosh. Okay. I feel it. Okay. It's a little bit more solid. <gasps> Hi. Okay, I've never seen... Yeah. I haven't seen this one before either. 
Okay. So it's yellow. And it's like a pretty pale yellow. And this one doesn't seem to have any like special things on it. I see a crack in it though, and I see green slipping out of the crack. And apparently this one is called Fizz Banger. And it turns the water green, apparently. And it's supposed to mmm smell like toffee toffee. Toffee apples and like a candy. Yeah. Mmm, this smells good though. It does smell like apples. Mmm. So yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, so I'm not really gonna like pick these up and kind of recap all of them because I'm just setting them down very gently. If you're like OCD like I am, don't get that second one that I pulled out here because it's like, oh gosh. I'm I'm a nervous wreck here. Oh gosh. Let's see a piece of it just broke off. Well, now that there is white bath bomb powder all over my couch, I guess I'll go on to the next one. <sighs> so actually, these three are apparently all of their new ones, but then there's one more new one, which is not in this bag right here. Ah, there you are, okay. So this one is called Mrs. Fizzy. And this one is shaped differently than the others. So it looks like this. Cool, right? And it has like pink sparkle or, or like a... It looks almost like um, what the, you put um, sprinkles on cookies. kind of looks like that. And it's like swirly. And it smells sweet. And it's supposed to smell like strawberry cream, apparently. And this in the picture looks like it turns the water pink. So, that's fun. So yeah, these are my first bath bombs, and as you can see, I'm not an expert at handling them at all. Um, if I could show you, I would. It's a mess over here. But yeah, so I'll keep you updated on what those are like. And we'll do like a post-usage review, because you can't really review a product after you. It's all gone. Okay. Next, we have Floating Island Bath Melt, which looks like this. It kind of looks like a cupcake. Not really so much on the top, but it looks like a little cupcake, you know. And it, it's is apparently supposed to smell like sandalwood and lemon. And it smells really fresh and citrusy. Mmm, I love bath melts. I'm excited to try this. Again, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so the last product is actually the only one that I have tried before, so I can actually tell you what I think about it. And this is called Happy Blooming. It looks like that. I had this in my other Lush Haul video. It has little cherries on it. It comes in little three parts. You can cut this up into three and use it. And this and the Floating Island one that I just showed you are bath melts. And this one turns the tub water pink, and yeah, it smells like cherries. It smells like something else, but I can't put put a yeah. It smells good though. So if you're like looking to start for start with a good bath melt from Lush, I'd get this one because you can get three baths out of this one as compared to like the other ones, which you can only get like one or two. So so yeah, that's my Lush haul. And now that I am officially like covered in white powder. I'm going to leave you here today. So yeah, if you've tried these or you're going to try them, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on Lush in general. And yeah, so that's all for now, guys. Bye.